Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small-town dealership, small-town prices. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance, and I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. Look at this new crazy calzone from those brainiacs at Little Caesars. It's a pepperoni pizza surrounded by a calzone crust. Little Caesars got us again. Is it more pizza or more calzone? I don't know. What do you think, pizza bot? Pizza, calzone, both. Get confused. Pizza, pizza, cal cal calzone, both, 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 both. Tell my wife. Bleep, bloop. Oh, we're not big pizza. We're Little Caesars. The new crazy calzone for eight forty nine. Pizza, pizza. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, out to the pitch here on the campus of Itawamba Community College. We're getting ready to honor our women's soft sophomores on the soccer team here. So this will be part of our broadcast today. So we're going to take you to the field for today's sophomore appreciation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We want to welcome you to today's matchup of Northwest Women's Soccer against our Lady Indians. Today is the end of the season for the regular season for the Lady Indians as we wrap up our division play today. Um, Northwest has another match next week, but this is the day that we want to recognize our sophomores and thank them for their contributions for their past two seasons here at Etiwamba Community College. So we'll recognize our players numerically, starting out with number four, Maria Jones. She's a defender from Oxford, Mississippi. Some of her awards while here at Itawamba, she's a TK member, she's Sigma Kappa Delta. She's been on the president's list and the dean's list both. She has attended at this match with Miss Benita Garner and Mr. Timothy Jones. Number five, Morgan Mitchell. She's a wing from Amory, Mississippi. Some of the honors here at Itawamba include PTK, the Dean's List, and she will also be a participant in the MACCC All-Star Game at the end of the season. She's attended at this match with Mark and Lindsey Mitchell. Number six, Chloe Walker, forward from Tupelo, Mississippi. She's been a two-year member of the women's soccer team here at Itawamba, and she's attended in this match with Ms. Brigetta and Mr. David Walker. Number eight. Kaylee Jackson, a wing from Sicily, England. She is the daughter of Sam and Carl Jackson. She has been a two-year member of the Lady Indian soccer team here at Itawamba. Number nine. 
Number 10, Kirsty McGregor, a midfielder from Harrogate, England. Here at Itawamba, she's been a member of PTK, Sigma Kappa Delta, the President's List, and she will also be a participant in the All-Star MACCC matchup at the end of the season. Her parents are Don and Kath McGregor. Number 15, Allison Moore, a defender from Morville, Mississippi. Attending the match with Allison are Pop and Jinder Moore. Allison has been a two-year member of the Lady Indian soccer team. Number 16, Sarah Grace Moore, a midfielder from Oxford, Mississippi. She's attended in this match with Mr. Hal and Miss Tammy Moore. Number 22, Morgan Williams, a forward from South Haven, Mississippi. She's attended in this match by Miss Latasha and Mr. Levi Williams. Number 25, Bella Mathis, a midfielder from Morville, Mississippi. She's attended in this match by Tanya and Philip Mathis and Sophie and Addie Mathis. Number 30, A.K. Trost, goalkeeper from Oxford, Mississippi. She's attending this match with Mr. Chuck, Miss Heather, Miss Beta Trost. We are thankful for the way that all of these players have represented our wonderful college over the past two seasons, and we appreciate each of them for making our women's soccer team one of the elite programs in the MACCC. They have qualified for the 2021 MACCC Conference Tournament and will begin postseason post play on Tuesday, November 2nd. Let's take this time to thank these student athletes for their tremendous honors. Thank you, sophomore class of 2022. And good luck today. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me. And the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want. And I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. 
perform here, win here, thrive here. Itawamba Community College, the best start here.
Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance, and I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, out to Fulton, Mississippi, as we're getting set for today's match between ICC and the number 13 Rangers of Northwest. And we are away here in this one as we do welcome you to the broadcast. ICC and all white sophomore day here in Fulton, Northwest, the number 13 team in the country. They're in all blue. Let's take a look at today's Coca-Cola starting lineups and let's start with your Indians. ICC comes in with a record of five and seven overall. And this will be their starters. Number one, Brianna Huckabee. Number two, Campbell Collette. Number four, Mariah Jones. Number five, Morgan Mitchell. Number eight, Kaylee Jackson. Number 10, Kirstie McGregor. Number 11 is Madison Copeland. Number 15, Allison Moore. 24 is Kayla Young. You've got number 25, Bella Mathis. And in net today is going to be number 30, Anna Kate Trost. That is your starting lineups being brought to you by Coke. ICC and Coke, now that's a winning combination. Let's take a look at the starters for Northwest. They come in with a record of 13 and 2. And now they're going to try to get something going here early on. We'll give you that as soon as we kind of get a break in the action here. Jones getting physical on the outside, forcing the ball back and the Rangers to reset. Shot from distance and too tall. Here's your starters. Number one, Maggie Olive. This is for the Rangers. Number four, Logan Tomlinson. Number seven, Katie Archer. Number eight, Katie Sarah Kate Burns. Number 10, Melinda Hernandez. Number 12, Molly Rose. Number 13, Allie Bailey. Number 17 is Melicia Little. You've got number 22, Mariah Groscott. Number 23, Jennifer Enriquez. As there's a shot deflected. And we'll see if they're gonna call it a corner kick or if they're gonna call it a goal kick. But it was deflected by somebody on its way forward. Looks like it's gonna be a goal kick here. And it's a round out your starters, number 24. That is MJ Lofiel. We're also going to welcome CJ Adams to the broadcast here. 
CJ pulling a little double duty today as having to help out with the clock and uh, got to get CJ some ears here. So give me a moment to uh, get him situated. There we go. And there, CJ. CJ, how goes it? It's going well. <laughs> Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. You just come out to the ball or come out to the pitch, enjoy a nice day of soccer, get recruited to operate the clock and jump on the broadcast at the same time. Yeah, why not? Yeah, multi talented guy. It's the other duties as a sign. Yes, yes. That lovely part of the contract. <laughs> Well, an absolute beautiful day, though, to be playing soccer. The sun's out, but it's in the 60s today, so temperature not as hot as it has been over the last couple of weeks when the girls have been playing out here. Didn't get, We got some rain a little bit last night, but not enough to kind of just make it too humid as Northwest nearly turns that one over on the throw-in, and ICC finally tries to clear it out and eventually does so. Now I'm going to leave this one up. This is McGregor now. Oh, nice touch right back. ICC trying to get on the push here, but a great job defensively to take away the angle of attack and eventually clear it out. It was a beautiful little give and go there at midfield between Kirsty and Brianna. Well, as we said, both these teams, uh, well, ICC is actually wrapping up the regular season today. They were scheduled to play Southwest Tennessee next week, but that game has being canceled and so ICC will be waiting to see who they will play in the opening round of the playoffs see if they will host or if they will have to travel as well so a big match today between both these teams is also Northwest is trying to hold on to hopes that they might be able to find a way to host the conference tournament starting in November Well, eventually just finally trying to let everybody clear out and that can't feel good right there yeah, when you that get stings yeah. a little bit. So ICC with it now at midfield. ICC and White, they're working left to right on your screen for those that are watching here on Let's Go ICC TV. And we do want to say a special hello as always to the ICC family, but to those that are watching in favor of the Rangers this afternoon, we do say hello. It's almost like we played y'all nearly 12 hours ago in another sport. The throw in towards midfield, cleared out by the Rangers and then sent right back by the Indians. A lot of contact, the referee says play on. That one's out of bounds and it will stay with the Indians. So the Indians with it now, send it right back over the middle. Oh, thought about trying to set up for that strike, maybe just taking a little bit too much time, and Northwest was able to recover, sends it out of bounds, and the ball will stay with the Indians. Yeah, I believe she had a shot there. She would have took it with her left foot, tried to sell it down, get that good shot with her strong foot. Took a little bit too much time. Well, we'll have a little bit of difficulty finding players whenever we come on this side of the pitch here with the shadows stretching across the field. You'll hear the breeze throughout the day. It's a nice breeze, a little chilly. As this ball is headed forward, and McGregor just couldn't get there in time, and so Northwest dodges a bullet there. We've got Rafael Henry up top, running camera for today's broadcast. Lee Adams on the side, taking photos for iccimages.com. CJ Adams joining me here in the ICC Alumni Affairs and Foundation broadcast booth. The first of three broadcasts today, actually. As that one sent inside, Tross deflects it away. Men's action will be coming up following this one. And then at 5 o'clock on the Blue Channel, we'll have volleyball against Pearl River. So a little bit of a rivalry Friday here in Fulton. I 
ICC with it now. Again, ICC in all white and Northwest in all blue. As this one's popped up, Mad Scramble continues for it. Nice job there by Huckabee to eventually find it and send it ahead, but just too many blue jerseys around. And But there's Huckabee to get it back, sends it out of bounds, last touch by the Lady Rangers. So a throw in here. Trying to find it to McGregor to do so. Huckabee, she wants to strike, but just too wide. Good idea. Nice, quick touch there by McGregor. No hesitation on the part of Huckabee. And nine times out of ten, CJ, when you do hesitate that split second, it allows the defense to recover, even though she wasn't able to put it on frame. Nice job getting that quick strike. Yeah, she found a little gap in the defense there. A lot of green grass in front of her, just her and the goalie. Ball just sailed on her a little bit left. So the ball put back in action by the Rangers. No score here. Coming up on 36 minutes to play in the first half. And it should be a throw in for ICC, it is. They try to go over the top to Jackson, but Northwest clears it out, allows the defense to reset. Try to go over the top and once again, finds his way to the feet to Jackson, but a Ranger number 13, Bailey comes in and meets her at the same time and eventually the Rangers will clear this one back to midfield. Finds its way to the feet of Kayla Young. Tries to squeeze it ahead, but it goes out of bounds and it will go back to the Rangers. Good crowd out today and you imagine that would be the case. Northwest and a lot of their players being in that area, not that long of a drive from Sinatobia to Fulton. Really, truly, other than Northeast, that's kind of our shortest trip we've got in this part of the world. So they're going to send this one back, and it'll be a free kick coming up here for Northwest. This one's set on its way. It's going to be a little bit wide right and not a whole lot of movement once the ball got in the air there, CJ. It really wasn't. A lot of, a lot of people just standing around in the box well, for both teams. Yeah. <laughs> not really one way or another. Just I, I think this is one of those games today where both teams have been told, hey, don't do anything, for lack of a better word, stupid yeah. to get a yellow card because, you know, some of them could be totaling up on them by this time of year. Don't do anything to get a red card. Don't do anything that would keep you from having the ability to play once postseason rolls That's around. exactly right. There's a scramble for it on the far side. Huckabee trying to get to it. A lot of pushing and shoving. And then a whistle finally blew there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. They're letting them go for a minute. But another nice job there. Huckabee trying to make something happen, but a good job defensively by the Rangers to take away every angle of attack and eventually get the whistle. Mm. Ouch. The face. That one kind of skipped back on Copeland. And ICC is eventually going to chase it down, but it's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by the Indians. So it'll be a throw in here for the Rangers. Coming up on 33 minutes to play here in the first half. Oh, nice idea that time, but a good job intercepting that one on the back line by the Indians. Cleared out to midfield, but the Rangers just a touch faster than the Indians, but it does go out of bounds. Last touch by Northwest. Throwing this one in and just a little bit too tall. Northwest will send it down the pitch, and ICC jumps in front of it. And eventually finds his way to Huckabee, and Huckabee knocked to the ground. Whistle, easy call there. And so it'll be a free kick coming up here for the Indians. ICC sends this one to the middle. Deflected out there by Northwest. Still loose on the pitch, though. 
Huckabee, oh, there's a handful of Jersey as she tried to break away from the ball and the official let him play on as the ball goes out of bounds. I like the way Huckabee plays out there. A lot of intensity, just always going for that ball no matter the situation. Yeah, she's one of those that has been solid all year. She's a freshman out of South Tillo. So imagine she's looking forward to having a big sophomore year next year here at ICC. But yeah, when she's on the pitch, she leaves it all out there. And that's really what you want out of a team leader. She leads the team with six goals this season. She also, every time the ball gets on that end of the field, she's got that instinct. She just knows where to be. And that's something you, you that's coaches not coachable, would love, yeah. love to have a, a whole squad like that. But that's, like you said, that's not teachable. Yeah. As some people say, you can't teach that. As this ball is sent down, and it's going to be easily scooped up there by AK. So ICC oh, going to be trouble there. And good pressure put on by Northwest. Kind of make her make a quick decision. The ball was rolled out a little bit quicker than she thought as Archer put on some pressure. Got the easy turnover, and now Northwest with it. That's a tough throw in right there, looking right back into the sun. So a little just turnovers back and forth between the two teams right now. Now trying to go on the attack is going to go out of bounds, and it will be a corner kick coming up here for the Rangers. An opportunity to make this dangerous here if you're Northwest and see if you can break open this scoreless contest. 30-25 to go here in the first half. This one's sent kind of on a flat line and it's going to go out of bounds. And they're going to say a goal kick here for the Indians. It's one of those that got to get a little bit more air on that delivery right there CJ to get up yeah, in the air. It was a little flat and I'm not sure if the contact was made right when she hit that ball but it was a it took an odd bounce off of her foot. We've got some construction going on in the background if you hear some noises or even see it on the screen as the addition of a new practice field is being added to the soccer facilities here shortly after adding the new locker rooms as well. So a lot of improvements going on here around the pitch. As this one sent forward, ICC breaks it up before it even gets a chance to get on net. Jones nicely done to jump right back in front of that one and force him to go the opposite way and retreat, if you will, on the attack. Now here come the Rangers splitting defenders. And that one broken up. Great job there by the Indians, and you got to give credit to Madison Copeland, kind of changing her direction of attack that time. Yeah, running that ball down. Took a dangerous bounce back into the middle there, but luckily we were able to get to it and send it out. Well, it'll be another corner kick coming up here for the Rangers as the ball has spent a lot of time on that side of the pitch here. Or actually, it looks like it may be a throw in instead. Going back to the construction, I'm glad the wind's not coming this way. Yeah, that's very true. We would have a mess over here. Starting up a little bit of dust over there. And between the wickets of the referee that time as ICC closes it out. Now, McGregor sends it ahead. Didn't really have anybody there. Was trying to flip the side of the pitch, but the Rangers, a lot of blue shirts in between her and the sideline. Campbell was able to keep that one alive, sends it ahead to Huckabee. Huckabee tried to squeeze it ahead to McGregor, and the Rangers do another nice job of just being in the right spots at the right time. This one's in the head now. ICC jumps in front of it, but the Rangers get it back. Good job by Young, taking it away, but then just two blue shirts around one white shirt. Not a whole lot you can do in those situations. As ICC collapses back defensively. Now they try to swing this one ahead to McGregor. And we've got a foul whistled here as 
looked like Kirsty was grabbed as she tried to get retreat to the ball and the referee agreed and ICC will have a free kick coming up here. There'll also be some substitutions set to come in for both teams. Anna Grace Ward for ICC and it'll be Eliza Olive and LaFell getting set to check back in. I do apologize if I'm saying that name wrong. Yeah, I think that's how I'd pronounce it. No pronunciation guide down there for mm -hmm. us today. No, your brother didn't do that. We'll just uh, we'll dock his pay. We'll just wing it then. I like it. Story of my life. Mad scramble for the ball. Still loose on the pitch, and the Rangers eventually gain control. Now trying to squeeze this one ahead, and good job by ICC. You know, nine times out of ten, you see a lot of people kind of stand around and watch after that, but the Lady Indians did an excellent job of hustling back to the ball as that one is going to be easily taken there by Tross. And now she's going to try to get it back in play. Ooh, dangerous. There's a good quick close in that time by Liddell. Now they send it back across the middle to the Rangers after a poor touch by the Indians. McGregor steps up now, trying to get it away from Rangers players. And I tell you, man, Northwest has got tons of speed on the pitch right now. They're able to close in and attack the ball from every angle defensively. Yeah, they recover very well when the ball gets past them. Those substitutions we mentioned earlier, they are now checking into the contest here. This substitution being brought to you by the ICC Wesley Foundation. They meet on Tuesday nights, located right across the street from the Davis Event Center. The Wesley Foundation, proud to help bring this action your way today here on the Let's Go ICCTV.com. Busy day on there. Got the men's game coming up next. And then right around five, which will probably start before the men's game wraps up this afternoon. Over on the Blue Channel, we'll have volleyball as Michael Upton will get us started on that one. And I'll try to get over there and jump in on that. I may not rush to it, though. Oh, oh ooh. that was an awkward fall so there. Almost, it's like she stepped on the side of the ball. As the ball just didn't roll with her, but good to see. I, I'm like you, I'm happy to see she's able to get up because that was just a nasty fall. Another mad scramble for it goes out of bounds and it will stay with the Indians. And that ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by ICC and the Rangers quickly throwing in, trying to get the ball down the pitch before ICC can retreat defensively. And another great job over there by Jones. Jones has just been lights out for the Indians this season defensively. As once she's in your hip pocket, she's not getting out of it. And there's going to be a shot, and oh, just Good wide. Good strike. Tross, I don't know that she was anticipating the shot from that deep, and luckily for the Indians, that one goes wide left. Yeah, I think she was shielded a little bit. Got a little bit of a late jump on it, but like you said, luckily it just sailed wide. Of course, we talk about all the other action going on. Softball will wrap up their fall ball play in Huntsville on Saturday. And then men's basketball will be in Birmingham for a scrimmage. And basketball, that starts on November the 1st, so... Right around the corner. It is, it is. So you can visit letsgoicc.com, find out that ICC basketball schedule, see the rosters of both teams. Of course, still doing the split schedule. So when one's home, one's away, there's a couple of nights, I believe, where both of them will be in the DEC. So plenty of opportunities to come watch basketball this season. And again, we'll be broadcasting those here on Let's Go ICC TV as well. So a throw in here for the Indians. Ball bouncing around and eventually Northwest will clear it out. CJ, anything thrown from our side of the field 
like that. It's tough to handle because the sun has shifted. It's normally more towards the left side of the screen, if you will, but it's more behind us now. So anytime you're looking up at the ball, you're going to be looking right back into the sun if it's thrown in from this right side. Yeah, it's an odd odd time of day to be <laughs> looking up, too. It's right yeah. there over, over the treetops. ICC sends this one ahead, but the Rangers get in front of that one. That's Molly Rose that stepped in front of it for the Rangers, sends it ahead, ball being pinballed around, and eventually, well, I say eventually stays with the Rangers. Now it does, but then there's Jones once again being the defensive nuisance that she is, if you will, was able to clear that one out back to midfield, and it's going to go out of bounds, and they're going to say it belongs to the Rangers. Copeland breaks it up, but the Rangers able to let it settle at their feet. Try to get it right back across the middle. There's Young breaking that one up. Good hustle by Young, followed up by Ward, who was able to clear it out to Jones on the far side of the pitch. Now tries to squeeze it ahead. And again, that team speed of the Rangers able to take away some of those passes that you normally get. This one goes out of bounds. Got a few more subs coming in for Northwest. If you got number nine, Dronit, and number 15, Medford, coming in for the Rangers. went to kick it that uh, how do you I just don't understand that foul call she was trying to go for a strike on the ball and the Ranger player came in and it was nothing malicious on either part yeah, that should have been a it should have just been a no call say right no there. call in that situation This one's in ahead, and the Rangers once again step in front of it, but can't chase it down before it goes out of bounds. We're coming up on 19 minutes of play here in the first half. Still no score, but a defensive struggle. Neither teams have really been able to get off a whole lot of shots either. Oh, and that one had to hurt as well there as that was Mathis who kind of just took it in the gut. And you kind of look at her right now taking some yep. deep breaths and putting her hands above her head just trying to find that air because no doubt that one kind of just knocked the wind out of her. Now here come the Rangers trying to attack on the far side of the pitch. Now dribbles back towards the middle where they hand it off. A little give and go action there. Jones breaks it up. It's going to be a foot race for it. And Jones doing Jones things over there. Cleared it out and allowed the defense to reset. So throw in here and it's going to be bouncing around. Rangers find it, strike, and no, just a little bit too wide, but it stayed in bounds. That ball had a little juju on it that time as it was able to stay in. Quick strike, but an easy save. Yeah, 24 was just there lurking around. Mm -hmm. Any kind of deflection, that would have been an easy footback for her. That shot, I believe, was by 15. Yes, 15. That was Medford, who checked in not too long ago. One of those, as there was a handball, no call. One of those that you're kind of taught, just take a swing at it. You never know whenever that thing might go in, and that's what she did there, but Tross was 
ready for it. And ICC gets the turnover. Oh, nice touch by Huckabee if it's ICC can just get down the pitch. Yeah, I like the, the touch there, sending that forward with a little top spin. Our girls just didn't have the, the speed to run that one down. I don't think they were anticipating it being <laughs> sent that forward ahead. As we'll have a substitution coming in here for ICC. This is going to be number 17, Jewel Johns, into the contest. Checking out will be number 8, Kaylee Jackson. So it'll be a throw in here for the Indians. Still no score. In inside 17 minutes to play now. This one bouncing around, and ICC will eventually find it. It's Huckabee. John sends it ahead. Oh, just a struggle. Opportunity here. Going to strike. No. Should be a corner. Well, a good idea. And I tell you what, John came in, John's came in right away. Giving the Indians an opportunity there. And unfortunately, the ball just took a little bit too tall of a hop on that initial bounce. And now ICC with their first corner opportunity of the afternoon. So John sends this one on its way. Keeper comes up to make a play on it. Ball is loose, and she eventually falls on top of it. CJ, you can tell she didn't see the ball. She yeah, Morgan just, Mitchell yeah. had no idea where the ball was after the deflection. And I don't think the keeper really saw it that well either. She just kind of put both hands in the air and was hoping to make contact with it. Again, as we talked about, that son playing fits when you're looking for basically if you're on the opposite side of the pitch of where we are right now, looking back this way, you're going to have a tough time this afternoon. Substitutions coming in here is going to be number two, Dowell, and number 14, Jamez, and for the Rangers. And so it'll be a throw in all the way across the pitch. Jones steps in front of it, ball eventually. Bouncing around, still loose on the pitch, and Young comes away with it now for the Indians. Tries to squeeze this one ahead, puts it into the back of Mitchell, and Mitchell just trying to get back to the ball, got tripped up and committed the foul. quick touch but there was Jones once again to deflect it away now ICC wants to reverse the pitch they leave it over to the middle got a lot of room over here she's going to be able to get to it Jules, Jewel Johns getting to it but another great example of that team speed as Liddell was able to cover a lot of ground and eventually deflect it out and allow the defense to reset for the Rangers Ball bouncing around, still loose, and ICC eventually comes away with it now. Huckabee oh, just couldn't quite get the ball to go with her. The ball would have turned a little bit more to the right side, yep. would have been in her favor, but unfortunately had a little, too much left spin on it. So now ICC is going to throw it in. Huckabee with it. Johns leaves it back to Huckabee. Ooh, I think if Huckabee would have turned in a little bit more, she could have had a left-footed strike yeah. there. I believe you're right. She didn't didn't see that opportunity, sent it across the field. So the kick sent down the pitch is still loose, and eventually the Rangers let it settle, and now they move it forward. But the ball just doesn't want to go to anybody right now. It's just kind of bouncing away from everybody. Young lets it settle up to Mathis. Mathis wants to swing it out wide. The Rangers step in the way of that pass. 
And we're going to have a foul called once the advantage was stopped that time. And ball will roll back here and it'll be Northwest. Now this one slips through. Opportunity coming up here for the Rangers. Left footed, but a save for the Indians. That was a sneaky good shot there, it too. It really was. It took a nosedive, a little, little mid-hop there. AK did a good job corralling it. Mm -hmm. Good job there, as you mentioned, CJ by AK. Is that one was also bending a little bit. Was able to get into it and make the save and keep us at scoreless contest. 11 and a half to play now in the first half. And now, uh, ooh, big time defensive effort there by the Indians as the Rangers had numbers and were on side when the ball was sent forward. And ICC was able to break that one up and allow the defense to get somewhat reset and now able to get it back on their side. Huckabee leaves that one ahead. Now it's sent back out wide to Jones. Jones trying to find someone to go with her, gets by the defender. Gets by another one, sends it forward, and the ball's oh. loose. And the, ooh, thought that was an ICC player right there instead of the Northwest player for a second. That would have been a great opportunity for the Indians. And instead, the Rangers, much like ICC did on the previous attempt, the Rangers dodge a bullet there. Yeah, go back to that run by Maria on that far side. Just the hustle to get there, and then she did really two great moves to get that ball advanced forward. And we got an injury on the pitch right now is number 14 for the Rangers. He stopped the clock. He didn't, I didn't see him stop it. No. I think what happened was the uh, ball hit her on top of the ponytail. So they're going to talk to her and it's one of those referees are going to say she has to come out in that situation. And that is a rule that I agree with in the game of soccer. Anytime there's a head injury, of that magnitude, and even though that wasn't just a like a serious contact, but any type of head injury that causes a player to go down, yeah. they automatically make them go out and get checked by concussion protocol. And you just, I mean, yes, that needs to be done. It's good for the yeah, sport, and it's not going to hurt anything to stop the ball, in that, especially at midfield. I always take player safety into consideration yep. first. And that's coming from somebody who has had three concussions in his life. And, uh, that you remember. That I remember, yeah. <laughs> and CJ and his brother Lee and Rafi and anybody that knows me can attest to the fact that it does mess up with your short-term memory sometimes. A lot of times. So the Rangers with it. As it's poke free, but Northwest will keep it at midfield. Now they're going to work this one forward, squeezes it ahead. That one deflected off, trouble here, and a good, quick decision just to send that one out of bounds as we'll have mass substitutions coming in here for both teams. I see McGregor coming in for ICC. And Chloe Walker. Chloe Walker as well. And there's about four subs coming in for the Rangers, one of those being Enriquez, another one being Archer, uh, I missed the other one. I think 12 rows is the other one, and there's one more. Maybe Hernandez. I think she came in, in the, during the injury. As that one shot forward and came off the backside of an ICC defender. This is going to go out of bounds, and they're going to say it stays with ICC. Coming up on eight minutes until halftime, want to – Invite you to stay tuned. We'll have a performance from the ICC All-American Band coming your way during the break. We typically tell you about some sonic stats or at least scoring, but unless something happens in the next eight minutes, we're not going to have anything to talk about. Ouch. Sent ahead, deflected. And it's going to go out of bounds. Should be a corner opportunity coming up here for the Rangers, and it will be. I 
ideal day to be outside. A little, a little chilly in the shade over here where we're at, but I dig it. I'm not complaining. Not at all. Is this one sent on its way in a battle for it? Mm -mm. She's trying to. I think she was trying to get the call versus the actual contact being made, as that shot's going to be too tall over the top of the net. And the ball go back to ICC. <laughs> I kind of like the uh, side judge over here as the Northwest coach trying to ask him, why can't you do that? Why can't you do 